In 2018, Century Saras Apartments in Bengaluru faced a serious issue. Electricity bills to run the complex were far too high for the 138 homeowners. We were used to get about uh, 80,000 as uh, monthly bill from Bescom for using our uh, common areas. The majority of the power consumption is from the two type of thing because we don't have a cavity, so we have to process our water. So processing water, we have a WTP and we have a STP. So STP is a major chunk of consumption because 50 percent of that entire 80,000 bill is from this uh, STP. So STP consumes a lot of power. So we thought, okay, why can't we uh, go for a solar? In 2020, the apartment commissioned a 50 kilowatt solar rooftop plant for three million rupees. So about sixty thousand, we almost every month we are uh, saving. So that was a big uh, eye opener. Electricity generated from that is sent to the city's grid. This is subtracted from the apartment's consumption at the end of the month. Yearly, you are uh, saving about seven point two lakhs. Four years, we'll uh, close it. Uh, return, uh, we'll get it. Century Saras swears by the benefits of solar. It's saving money and the environment. But rooftop solar is struggling to pick up in Bengaluru. The city lagged significantly behind its ambition of 1.2 gigawatts of solar rooftop energy by the end of 2022. Just 0.5 percent of the city's rooftops have solar panels. So what is ailing Bengaluru? Rooftop photovoltaic systems were not being adopted quickly, and what we found was that there was a great amount of uncertainty associated with the payoffs or the outputs of solar panels when a person puts on their roof. As a result, uh, one of the things that we thought was how do we reduce this uncertainty? C Step launched a tool called Rooftop Evaluation for Solar Tool, or Crest in short, in 2020. So one of the things that we did was we used this technology called lidar, which is called light detection and ranging. What it does is it sends pulses of light to any structure. C Step mapped 1,170 square kilometers of Bengaluru using complex algorithms to calculate the solar potential of every rooftop in the city. and as a result we are able to calculate how much rooftop potential or how much solar potential is there on each of the roofs and calculate what is the amount of energy that can be generated from that the think tank estimates that bengaluru can generate 3.2 gigawatts through solar if over 800000 rooftops install solar power the tool allows for homeowners to see the financial returns of solar power and for policy makers to see where they need to focus I think we should be able to nudge the people who have very good payback periods to adopt early and then provide the subsidies to people who are on the fence or who have a fairly low internal rate of return where they need some help so that they can move into a renewable energy system. Government subsidies for consumers can help reduce the initial cost to install rooftop solar. Currently subsidies are given by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy through local electricity supply companies. This subsidy is substantial. But I'm sad to say that the implementation has not been successful. We are yet to see a consumer with any subsidy disbursed. Now the GST earlier was 5% and since uh, 2021 the gst has been increased to 12% for the supply and 18% for the installation making thus a net of 13.8% so what is that the net benefit to the consumer that the government is giving on one hand it has been given on the other side it has been taken back bengaluru's electricity company is struggling with the first step needed to disperse subsidies finding solar panel installers that agree to their terms Now, last two years, if you see, Bescom has attempted more than four times to empanel the installers. 
because the rules the guidelines the, the uh, requirements of the tender were so complex potential consumers have been tired of waiting out of 1250 applications for subsidy in bengaluru around 250 have withdrawn some government officials here blame a policy confusion from the center the policy has been amended multiple times leaving local electricity companies to restart the process last year on the tender made we competitor tara one agency fix aito fix aadanta survey madidro survey madida nantra ee rates yen idiyo panel rates alla market price yu mattu labbi virode karana mattu jaasi iroda ondu idu maadi avaru munde barade allige this has resulted in reducing targets for Bescom. In 2020, Bescom had a target of 300 megawatts. In 2022, it was reduced to just 10 megawatts. At Century Saras, residents have been saving 75% of their electricity. Now they aim to be net zero. But a limit on the solar installation capacity and a stubborn bureaucracy makes it a hurdle too big to cross for now. We require another 15 kilowatt uh, plant, which uh, we are uh, not able to do because of uh, Bescom present policy. Now, last uh, three years we are trying this. So, I don't know technically what it is. I think uh, uh, they are uh, commercially something, maybe the issue. 